It is Black Friday weekend and I wanted to share these deals with you because I know they're all going on sale this weekend. I'm hiding from my kids. I know they're all here for Thanksgiving, but I had to get this video done for you. Black Friday only happens once a year. So let me get into it real quick. 10 kitchen gadgets that I absolutely love and use every single day. My oven liners. Oh my goodness, this makes cleaning the oven so much easier. I use the silicone oven liners. They last me forever. I get three of them and I mean, they'll last me years. I probably have bought two sets of threes in the last 20 years that I use them. So these oven liners, they're great. They're easy to wash. Just take some soapy water, wash them down, let them dry and they're good to go. The next thing is this long handled razor. Now, normally I use a razor without any handle on it. I know that's probably why I'm always getting cut, but <laughs> I saw this long handled razor recommended by somebody else. And let me tell you, they were right. It is great. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a cover in order for the razor to not have the sharp point all the time. You have to unscrew it, put the razor blade in backwards, then screw it back on. And so then you're not losing a cover, I guess, but who wants to screw and unscrew a razor blade every time you use it? But the long handle works great. I absolutely love it cleaned my oven with it. I'm doing a video on that in the January, but I absolutely loved this long handled razor and I didn't get cut this time, which was kind of nice. By the way, guys, all of these links are in the description below. The next thing is this little egg pan. Now I have been using this little egg pan for probably six or eight years. Absolutely love it. I think this is my second or third one that I've had in those years. Now, to be honest, yes, we go through pans in this house with teenagers cooking. They aren't as careful as I am. So I've had pans get ruined. But this little guy, I've, I've had, I think, two in the last six or eight years. But it just keeps going and going. You can cook up to two eggs. It's kind of full with two eggs. But we love it because we can cook one or two eggs. We can cook sausages warm little bits of leftovers up. It's not a huge pan. It's easy for someone like me who has fibromyalgia to lift. It's not super heavy. I love this little egg pan. Rice cooker. This is Mike's favorite kitchen tool is the rice cooker. Now this one is a mini rice cooker that I found at a yard sale and I wanted to test it out and it works great. It's a rice cooker and a steamer. So that's what I like about this one. We have the big rice cooker that we normally use all the time. Mike loves it. I love it. This is an appliance that we always use. Next is my handy dandy kitchen scraper. Now this kitchen scraper is actually designed to use for cutting dough and scraping up the dough bits off the countertop. That's what I use it for. And then I had this happen. And let me tell you, it cleaned up this soapy mess. So good, so easy. You guys saw right there how I did that. Really, I could not live without this kitchen scraper. I absolutely love it. Have had one for more than 20 years. Use it all the time. Meat chopper. This is another thing I've had for probably 15, 20 years now. Absolutely love my meat chopper. This is probably the second one I've had. I think the only reason why I got rid of my first one is because I accidentally left it on the stove and it melted. Oops. But <laughs> this thing will last you your lifetime if you're careful, unlike me. So love my meat chopper. Use it all the time to chop up beef, chicken, whatever you want. I absolutely love my meat chopper. What is your favorite kitchen gadgets? Because I get good ideas from my viewers all the time. So comment and let me know what your favorite kitchen gadget is. And if you guys love this video, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Now I got this new egg pan, well new to me, at the thrift store for, I think it was 50 cents or a dollar, I can't remember, it was super cheap. And I thought, well that looks kind of cute, I think I'll try that. Oh my goodness. I love this even better than the first egg pan that I <laughs> recommended. Now, I actually have both and use both because my first green little egg pan that I have, it really good, works good for browning things like sausages and that type of thing. But this one, wow, I absolutely love it. 
absolutely love it. I hate cleaning egg out of pans. No matter what I do, egg always sticks on the pan. I'm sure there's a trick. Comment and tell me if you guys know the trick to getting eggs to not stick in the pan because I haven't figured it out yet. The next thing is my meat thermometer. I never thought I would use a meat thermometer and I use it all the time. First of all, I check to make sure my meat is done. Yes, I know that seems dumb, but I've always just cooked my meat so that it falls off the bone like I do with my turkeys. But when I cook pork, those types of meats, it's really handy to make sure that those big pieces, they're actually done in the center. But here's what I use it for more than meat. I know you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I use it for baking bread more than I use it for meat. I found out that if you get your bread to 200 degrees in the center, 190 to 210, give or take, high altitude makes a difference on that. So just depending on where you're at. But I throw in my bread and then when I need to see if it's done, I put the meat thermometer in, turn it to 200 degrees for where I'm at, and then I know exactly if my bread is done in the center. I know, where was this all my life? I just discovered this like four or five years ago and it has been a huge game changer. Yeah, you can thump on the top of the bread to see if it's hollow sounding, that works just fine, but oh my goodness, this meat thermometer just changed my life when it comes to baking bread. The next thing is this little pot with strainer lid, mom's, this is mom's number one kitchen item that if she had to get rid of everything, she would keep this one. And I have to say, I got one for myself because I agree with her. You were right, mom. I know, I just gotta say it, you were right. This is so handy, it's smaller, so you're not tempted to fill it with more water than you need to. You can just strain right then and there if you want to make noodles, spaghetti, pasta, whatever you wanna make. If you wanna boil your eggs, you can just strain off the water and then put cool water straight in there to cool off your eggs. This little thing is so handy. Mom absolutely loves it and I think it's gonna be one of my new favorites also. The next thing is my immersion blender. Yes, you guys know I make soap and I use my immersion blender all the time, but in the kitchen, I love it for making milkshakes and smoothies and pina coladas. I love coconut and pineapple together. Yes, I keep the booze out, but oh my goodness, I still love a good pina colada. This way I can make a single serving and not have to get the whole blender out and wash all the blender. All I have to do is rinse off this one little piece and I am good to go. Then I don't have this huge blender that I gotta deal with. I don't know, it's just so easy to just pull it out, snap it together blend what I need to blend and be done with it. I love my immersion blender. All of these links are in the description below. Visit us at livingonadime.com.